a warm welcome for everyone to the session number 20 in the part of react learning series in our last video we had discussed about refs in react and this is continuation to our session number 19 we have seen how to create a reference object and how do we assign the reference object to a html element but remember that the element can be either html element or a react element as well that means we can pass the reference even for react elements as well let's open index.js file from our demo project now assuming that we are developing an application for one of the elevator manufacturing company let's say we have to develop two components as part of doing the application development one is elevator component and the other one is summary component i have the code handy and i am pasting it here we have a class called as elevator class which is extending react.component class and we have a constructor defined and we have created a reference object using react.createref method as one can see here we have multiple input elements using which we can enter elevator name elevator speed and elevator load when we are ordering one elevator product the reference object we have created here is assigned to elevator name input and this elevator component is calling another component called as summary component and this summary component shows us the details of elevator name elevator speed and elevator load then we are calling this elevator component and this component is being rendered to our root container let's save these changes let's navigate to the browser we can see that contents of both elevator component and summary component are being displayed here now customer has a requirement here that when we click on given field in the summary details section focus should go back to the respective input element from the elevator component that means if i click on this elevator name our focus should go back to elevator name input element if i click on elevator speed in the summary details the focus should go back onto elevator speed input element from the elevator component in order to achieve this we have to access the reference of our elevator component input elements in our summary component that means we have to pass the reference from the parent component to the child component this technique is called as forwarding refs ref forwarding is a technique using which we can pass a reference from a component to one of its children now we will pass the reference from elevator component to the summary component let's switch back to visual studio code now let's go to the place from where we are calling the summary component let's add a new property called as inner ref and to this property we will pass our elevator name input element reference now let's go to summary component let's go to the paragraph tag in which we are displaying the elevator name let's trigger on click event let's call a function whose name is focus input let's go ahead and implement this focus input function we will make it as an arrow function within this function let's access the reference which we have passed through the properties we have given the property name as inner ref dot current dot we call a method called as focus let's save these changes let us navigate to the browser let's click on the paragraph tag in which we are displaying the elevator name and we can see that the elevator name input element gets focused from our elevator component until now we have seen how to use refs in class component now let's see how can we handle refs in function components i have a test component function handy and i paste it here we can see here we have a function called as test component in which we have declared a function called as handle click and we are returning a div container in which we have a text box followed by a button on click of this button we are calling a function called as handle click now within our test component function let's create a variable and we call it as test ref and we initialize it to null now we will call the focus method on that variable which we have created within this handle click function so we say test ref dot focus now let's go to our input element and we say ref is equals to we write an arrow function e goes to test ref equals to we assign this input using this arrow function we are assigning this input to the variable which we have created that is test ref now let's call this test component function and we will assign it to element and we will render this element to our root container let's save these changes let's navigate to the browser now we can see a text box followed by a button let's click on this button we can see that the text box gets focused here we have seen how do we use ref for an input element inside a function component remember that we can use the ref attribute inside a function component as long as we refer to a html element or a class component refs cannot be attached to function components that is because function components do not have instances so we cannot reference them if we want to assign ref to our function component 
we can use forward ref method in react or we can convert the function component to a class component now let's see how can we use forward ref method in react to assign reference to our function component let's go to the beginning of this index.js file we will create a function component using react.forwardref method so we say const demo component is equals to react.forwardref and to this method we will pass an arrow function and this arrow function will receive two parameters the first parameter will be holding the list of properties which will be passed to this component and the second parameter will be holding the reference which is passed let's return a button element from this function component we give the text as click now we will call a function on click of this button so we say on click is equals to test click now let's implement this test click function we say function test click and within this test click function we will write ref dot current dot focus is the method which we want to call now let's call this demo component from our elevator component next to summary we will say demo component and to this demo component we will pass the reference ref is equals to we will pass our elevator name input element reference this dot elevator ref now let's call this elevator component and render it to our root container let's save these changes let's navigate to the browser now we can see we have a click button here now let's click on this click button we can see that the elevator name input element is focused let's go to the elevator component and we can see here we are calling a demo component which is a function component and to this component we are able to pass the reference of an element we are able to do that because this demo component is created by using a function called as forward ref in this example we have seen how can we use forward ref method and accept the reference which is passed to this function component with this we are clear on how to use a ref in the case of a class component as well as in the case of a function component thank you for watching this video and have a great day